from Loitering in Wonderland Studios. <laughs> With Phoenix West. Hello, citizens. I'm Phoenix West. How are you? Oh, you guys look so great out there. This is so exciting. I'm very glad to be here on things that will burn in H-E double hockey sticks. <laughs> oh, today's episode is very special, as they all are, and so are all of you. This is very exciting to have you all here in, in your in your living room, on, on your phone, wherever you are watching this right now. Try not to... No, I, I gotta be clean. Hey, how would you like to hear about one of the greatest children's show on the face of this earth? It's just the greatest. Featuring deformed mutants talking to deaf people. It's, it's the greatest show on earth, like the fucking circus. I mean, like the darn circus, right, guys? <laughs> Things That Will Burn Hell, number 63. Sesame Street. Uh, Sesame Street. I've searched the globe for a city or town where large yellow flightless birds converse with deaf adults on street corners but came up dry. Not even a giant cotton elephant. I never found a giant blue koala bear addicted to sweets. And after my globe trotting, all I concluded is the only way to Sesame Street is by using many illegal drugs. Somehow, during the course of my childhood, I never watched this television show. I didn't even see a scene until I was 14. I mean, of course I knew the show and its characters, but only through commercials and advertising. Apparently, the children who live on Sesame Street never heard of a thing called the public school system. It's 10 in the AM. Why the hell isn't that eight-year-old in school? They should arrest Big Bird and the deaf lady for contributing to the delinquency of minors. Laws are laws, bitch. Just because you're a big, one-of-a-kind bird doesn't mean you can break them. I'm amazed you haven't been hunted as big game and eaten yet. Every single bird I see in a major city is swarming with disease. The center of disease control should have put you in quarantine long ago. Also, how the hell does that deaf lady talk to Big Bird? She must have went to the lip reading school for the criminally insane because birds have beaks, not lips. And the only tongue those puppets have is stapled to the bottom of their mouths. She would have literally zero idea what that big yellow whore was saying at any moment. The same goes for any of those puppets. The show is meant to be some sort of tool for parents to use so they don't have the burden of teaching their children outrageous things like learning the count and spell. Parents would rather let a blood-sucking vampire teach them how to do this. No wonder people are so fucked up lately. At least it tells some truth to children at an early age. Things like, homeless people are violent psychopaths and should be treated like shit for being dirty. As a kid, I preferred to watch shows and movies featuring real human beings. If I did want to see something with monsters, I'd just watch Lost in Space or Twilight Zone episodes. I guess I grew up too fast. Perhaps it was by watching Mr. Rogers Neighborhood that caused me to grow up too fast. I learned young how to spot a pedophile. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. Your years of lonesome living with children in your closet and a fish tank that you've obsessively fed will not have gone to waste. Also, it's not that hard to dress yourself. Don't make such a big fucking deal out of it and quit involving children with the process. Not everyone needs to know or cares if you wear your loafers or thousand dollar snakeskin boots. Also, I don't know if anyone told you why you were alive or not, but most postmen don't stop by for a visit whilst on their route. And if they do stop by to chat, they sure as shit aren't allowed inside the house. Mr. McFeely should have been fired for wasting company time. Cinder Elmo. Thanks, Elmo, for adding fuel to the fire inside the mind of every sexually confused eight-year-old boy. I'm glad Sesame Street is located in such a diverse location. There's Middle Easterners, blacks, squirrels, whites, elephants, vampires, homeless, and even a nice selection of vegetation. Put these things together on any other street corner and you have yourself a race riot creating pure panic and hysteria. Look at Ernie's look of naughty guilt in the larger photo, complete with Bert's quiet confirmation of intimate satisfaction. Also, notice a subtle embrace in the picture with the blue background. The rest of the film roll for that photo shoot consisted of lots of close-ups and hardcore sodomy with the bananas and that rubber ducky. Never watched the show growing up. Never did. I remember I was probably 11 or 12 when I first saw it and I was like, what the fuck is this? I couldn't comprehend when I was watching. It made no sense to me. I really couldn't figure out how the deaf lady could hear them. Because, you know what I just said? I just said some horrible shit. Racist shit. Horrible racist shit. Because that's what it would look like to her. They're not, they're not articulating their mouth. They're not moving their tongue. She can't see when they're doing the, the T's, the L's, the M's. She can't see none of that. They don't have fucking lips. You can't lip read a goddamn bird that... Can you tell what Pac-Man's saying, bitch? How the fuck can you do that, you crazy psychopath? You fucking liar. I think she's making up just whatever she wants to hear. 
I don't know how the fuck she's doing it. She's a goddamn miracle worker. Not even fucking Helen Keller could figure this shit out, okay? I'm sorry. It's not, it's, it's not possible. It's fucking boring. It's not... It's not entertaining in the least. It's not at all entertaining. I feel the same way about any fucking puppetry. Any puppets. Muppets. Fucking Sesame Street. Fucking Jim Henson. I don't fucking care. Jim Henson at least was semi-interesting with this stuff. But if it was just puppets, fuck it. Like the labyrinth is fine because the puppets are like creatures and kind of like... Fraggle Rock's awesome. Can't deny that. I'm all over the place right now. My brain is spinning with the second fucking Sesame Street shit. Can't even speak anymore. I'm getting angry. Why the fuck are the Muppets so goddamn big? They're fucking not, they're not funny. They're not funny at all, at all. I think you had to have grown up on it. Cause if you didn't watch it at all, like I didn't, I didn't see any Muppets until I was older. I watched Muppet Babies, which is a cartoon, which was baffling to me. Cause they would put their feet up on a door frame, a foot on the door and try to pull the knob toward their foot. I'm like, bitch, you're fucking blocking it yourself. It's not gonna open. Do you know how leverage works? You goddamn dumb baby, you fucking stupid frog, asshole, stupid fucking Fozzie Bear. You're not funny. You're not goddamn funny. You're a baby. And then later on, you're a fucking Muppet that's still not funny. Get over it. Move on. Move on with your goddamn life, you stupid fucking bear. Why am I so angry at this? It really drives me insane for some reason. I watched The Twilight Zone. I watched Lost in Space. I watched, like, I did watch Puppets. I watched Thunderbirds. I watched Thunderbirds. Those are puppets. The creepiest shit puppets too by Jerry Anderson. Real fucking creepy. Check that shit out. They remade it recently as a cartoon. So they drew puppets. Therefore defeating all point of being puppets. When you're drawing puppets, it doesn't matter if they're puppets. Just make them fucking people at that point. What the fuck are you doing? Good God. Go to LAWstudios.com, check out the shows, check out the videos, all the podcasts, and blah, blah, blahs. All are all there. We're famous for our blah, blah, blahs. Loitering in Wonderland on YouTube. Loitering in Wonderland at gmail.com. It's all on the screen somewhere on here. You'll figure it out. Read the text. Type it in your computer. Send the things. Read the things. Watch the things. Do the things. All the things. Until next time, and in the meantime, I'm Phoenix West. I'll see your asses in hell, where I'll be hanging out on a, on a stoop on Sesame Street. While the fucking city burns and those puppets go up in flames quickly. They're made out of fucking like polyester. They're going to go up quick. And the puppets, and the guy that has his hand up the puppet's ass is going to get burned. And he's going to get singed to it. And this is going to be stuck to him forever where he fucking deserves it. Your hands are tools of evil.